What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So I have a lot of updating to tell you guys um, about the whole car situation. Um, but before we do, as you guys can clearly see in the title, um, she might have ran away. But before we talk about any of that, uh, for those of you who haven't seen the last video, I'm going to show you guys the wreck, like the carnage of everything. So here is the car. So it was a F-150. This is the front end. Her hole underneath went under mine. And these squares right here hit mine and completely went inside. Both both ends. So, Ford on Ford crime. And she ran into me right there. She was texting and driving. It's pretty bad. Um, I'm not sure if... I went to one place to look at the car and they said that this was a little bit bent like right up in here I don't know you guys tell me do you guys see any like and it see anything I mean it's hard to see I personally can't really see it but I was told there's a little dent right there but and then another place said there wasn't but the whole trunk is caved in so that's gonna be extra body work on the inside there's probably so much stuff on the inside that the estimators and stuff didn't really uh, put into account. There's a wiring down there just dangling. My exhaust did go down just a little bit on this side. As you can clearly see. And my license plate completely bent. But that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. What the? You heard that? So let's get started about what what's happening. What's the current status of the Mustang? So what's going on is that the lady who hit me, that truck was not hers. It was her boss's truck. So that's a problem in itself. Not only that, but she isn't insured, which is even worse and it's already been a week and usually this takes like a day or two to like get to the adjuster have the adjuster come look at the car the adjuster hasn't even like seen the car or even like contacted me to come see it or nothing because of this so the lady who hit me she's not insured as i told you and with her being not insured um the company of the vehicle um isn't that a liable which is covered which is supposed to cover the car but since she is an insured on that policy that company could come back so her boss is the owner of the car um, he could say well I'm not gonna pay for the damages and he could say um, that the insurance doesn't have to fix it because he wasn't the one in the crash which sucks because now I have to go after her but she isn't insured so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna end up trying to sue her if she doesn't try and get this fixed and the insurance company doesn't fix it so and not only that but it's already been a week and I talked to my adjuster and uh, he said he's been trying to contact her every day multiple times and she has not answered once so she could have either fled like she like ran or something like she's gone away or she's trying to avoid the situation or I'm not exactly sure but she, she had an ID but I'm not I don't know how that works um, it's just so annoying how this, like, I, I asked everyone, how long does this usually take? And they were like, well, for the adjuster and everything, about a day or so. And they've never seen anything like this before. So, she, like, I can't believe she actually, like, she's not contacting the adjuster. Neither is the boss of the car. Um, they can't get a hold of anybody. So, what's going to end up probably happening is if no one can cover this what it's gonna come down to is I'm gonna have to pay for the whole thing myself which sucks and I do not want to do but that's the current situation that's the update of the Mustang and to top off this whole thing is that I won't even know if the car is totaled or fixable until she gets contacted and the adjuster can come out and look at it so I I have no idea if this is totaled or not. Half the people have told me yes it's totaled, the other half hasn't. 
told me it's fixable and it's pretty easy, but there is, uh, I talked to a couple body shops, this is frame damage right here, and it's like buckled, um, and then there's probably a lot of internal damage, they got the bumper, the deck lid, the trunk is pumped up, did I just say pumped? I meant popped up, that one's really bad, they're gonna have to redo the bumper, the bumpers inside there, right there. There's probably so much stuff in the inside they need to fix. So that's where I'm at. Like, I might have to pay for the whole car myself if she doesn't end up. And she, the thing is, she has 30 days um, to call, or she's gonna keep calling for 30 days, the adjuster. And if she never answers by the 30 days, he's gonna have people go to her house. But 30 days is a long time to get away, if you know what I mean. So, worst comes to worst. 30 days I find out that she's not there anymore and I'm gonna have to pay for this my myself so I'm not exactly sure how long this is gonna take hopefully sooner than later but um that's the current situation we cannot find her she's not answering anything um, so I guess the next step is waiting and then go to her house I mean I, all I have to do is wait the adjuster said I you, all you have to do is just wait and I'm like well what if I can't drive it like what if I need a rental car he was like well we can't offer you a rental car until we come look at the car and we can contact her and this and that and I'm like oh my gosh so I mess up because I have to drive this everywhere hopefully I don't get pulled over because I'm pretty sure this is a little bit illegal but you guys have ever been in a similar situation let me know also I'm gonna end the video here if you guys want me to make a video of exact detail of what happened um, I'll even go back to the road that it happened at and show you guys exactly what happened I left a couple stuff out um, such as like for example her boss owning the truck instead of her so if you guys want me to tell you the whole story detail by detail let me know i'll do that in the next video but as for this one this is going to wrap it up just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going on with the mustang and uh so things aren't looking too good but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash the like button if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the button and uh like always guys have a great day peace oh no i'm gonna pay for this myself <laughs>